Hey everyone, today I want to cover an important TSB or technical service bulletin that covers the early 2020 F-150s, Rangers, and Mustangs equipped with the 10R80 automatic transmission. Now this is a TSB, a technical service bulletin. What makes this different from a recall is recalls, the manufacturers have to notify customers and recalls never expire. With this, you probably did not get a notification about this and Ford does not necessarily have to cover this once the powertrain warranty is over because it's powertrain. It's 560 is the standard Ford powertrain warranty for these things because it's in the transmission. That's what it's covered under. But like I said, this is a very complicated and expensive procedure, and there's no guarantee that Ford would cover this outside of the factory warranty coverage. So essentially what is happening with these early built 2020s that were actually built in 2019 is there's an issue with the output shaft transmission bearing and sleeve where they don't get enough lubrication. And because of that, they create a whistling noise at low speed. It literally sounds like a whistle, like a at very low speeds. And this truck, it had always done that. I thought maybe it was part of the drivetrain because I really only noticed it if the radio was off and it was very quiet. But as I started to kind of look into it, I found that that really wasn't the case. It wasn't really supposed to be doing that. So how you can tell it's part of the transmission is basically turn everything off in the vehicle so it's very quiet. And as you start to pick up speed, you'll find that it isn't rev dependent. Like if you rev the engine, it doesn't change. But as you drive faster, the whistle gets a little bit louder and a little bit more progressive. Once you get to higher ground speeds, there's so much ambient outside noise, it kind of covers up the sound, but low speed, like I said, this truck about 15 to 40 miles an hour, I would start to notice this. So let's get into the technical information that Ford actually released on this. The TSB number, is 20-2083 and like I said it affects F-150s, Mustangs, and Rangers. Now the actual build dates this affect are October 21st of 2019 through December 16th of 2019. If you're not sure when your vehicle was built there's a sticker on the door frame of every vehicle and it will have the month and the year build date. But like I said, this is a, these are for very early 2020 models that were actually built in 2019. So check that sticker if you're not sure. And if you're still a little uncomfortable as to whether or not your vehicle is affected, just reach out to the dealer. They can punch your VIN in on their computer and find out exactly if your vehicle is one of the ones uh, affected from the VIN. And basically Ford basically says the same things that I just stated, that it'll exhibit a high pitch whine noise coming from the transmission at low speeds during light acceleration and or coasting. So that's basically the output shaft bearing is making that noise. And like I said, if you look down, it gives some basic information on it. Now, even though this only affects about a two month build for the 10 R80 transmissions, this probably affects tens of thousands of vehicles. So this is something that you want to make sure you have Ford cover and you don't want to have to cover this out of pocket because this is a very long and complicated procedure to change this part. You now the part itself is not expensive. It's only a few dollars for the bearing and the sleeve. The issue is the drivetrain has to be completely moved, removed from the vehicles. The hours for this range for between eight to 11 hours, depending on which vehicle. Four wheel drive F-150s take more effort than a rear wheel drive Mustang would to do this. But I just had this done. I had the mechanic take a, a few pictures for me while I was doing it. The uh, mid pipes for the exhaust have to come out, the drive shaft, in this case, the transfer case comes out and then they have to pull the transmission out. And to get to this bearing, you can't just take the uh, sleeve or the seal off the back of the transmission. You have to pull all the internals out of the transmission. The torque converter has to come out, the valve body, the solenoids. The only thing that they don't really have to tear into is there's basically a cylinder housing that houses the clutch packs and the planetaries inside the transmission. They basically, that thing is so heavy that they actually use the lift to pull it out of the transmission to access the bearing all the way at the bottom. Once they pull it out, the bearing's not too hard to get to. It's basically press in, press out to replace that bearing. And then they have to put everything back together. But it would cost thousands of dollars to have you pay for this yourself. Because most dealers are getting $150, $200 an hour. And if it's over a 10 hour job, you can see how this is gonna get expensive really fast. And there's a whole bunch of other small parts that Ford says are one time use only. Little seals and gaskets that have to be replaced with that job. So. This is something that because the warranties for most people, we're starting, these are over three years now, as far as the warranty period goes, three years and your mileage obviously may vary on this depending on how much you drive, but the window is closing to get this done. So I would highly advise you, at least if, you, if your vehicle fits into that build date, look into, see if you're noticing that noise and 
start finding a dealer that you trust to do this. Because I was a little bit leery about doing this. To pull an automatic transmission apart that's extremely complicated, sometimes you can cause more problems than you fix by tearing into something so, uh, so extensive and complicated. But fortunately, my local dealer, I have a lot of faith in them. They have fantastic reputation. They have excellent mechanics there. They used to be Flemington Ford. They're now Sioka Flemington. I know a lot of techs there, and I have the utmost faith in those guys because they've had done some big jobs for me. And uh, that's why it's really important to establish yourself with a dealer, especially if you buy a lot of Fords that you trust and have mechanics that are very competent, go on the internet, talk to people, find dealers that are really good. So um, I drove the truck around. It feels fantastic. There's no differences other than that, that whistling noise being gone. And it's unfortunate that it has to be such a big job for such a minor part. Uh, I don't know if this will lead to bearing failure because of not being lubricated enough. That's why I was, I decided I need to get this done because if that issue does become where the bearing is will eventually fail because of it, it would cost me thousands of dollars to do this out of pocket. So they looked at the bearing when they pulled it out. It didn't look to have any damage on it, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry for such an extensive and expensive job. So I hope this helped everybody out, but start looking into this now before your powertrain warranty is completely over. If you're not over by the mileage, if you have less than two years to go time-wise, so get this done, have this taken care of, find a Ford deal that you trust, that you feel is competent enough to do this extensive of a procedure to your vehicle and have this taken care of like I did. I'm very glad I did. The truck is, the whistle is gone, the drivetrain's notice will be quieter now and the truck behaves exactly as it did before. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you found this very informative. Thanks for watching.